Hey guys, Wolfexia here, and today we're going to be looking at the Zetus. This is my favorite one of the um, UE suits, despite me hating its pilot's guts. If you've watched my um, age videos so far, ho oh, ho, you've seen quite a few rants at um, Dezel's expense. Um, but I gotta say, um, if we're gonna. I'm going to review this as if Dezel was not the pilot, because I hate Dezel's guts. Um, I hate how he has to basically be the stereotypical kid, like villain kid, who has a terrible temper and is chizzed off at the hero for no explainable reason. So, whatever. Let's just say my OC is my OC is the pilot. Yes, I do have a few OCs. Um, and I actually do have an OC who's a Gundam pilot and could theoretically be in the Age universe even though he is in the Seed universe and um, I actually have a speci I have a custom of the Destiny which I'm going to do with a Master Grade which he pilots because I really don't like the um, wings or the cannon that incredibly much. The sword is awesome, but it could do without the wings and the cannon. Which is great for me, because I lost one of the Destiny Gundam's wing mount units. So, you'll get to see my custom Destiny that my OC pilots. I, I, I'll, probably get, I'll probably do a decently done drawing of my, o, of my OC by that time, and then... Um... By the way, in case you were wondering, my OC's name is Zedek Ignaka. Um, the first name I actually named him after my cousin, because I love my cousin's name, Zedek. I mean, come on. I think it has something to do with some Gre Greco-Roman story or something. His father has a degree in myth, so... Like mytho my mythology and like different culture and crap. So yeah. Anyway, back to the Zetus. Um, I'm gonna say that Zedek is the pilot, so I don't have any bias because I hate Dezel's guts. Um, if this was the Zetus R, then I would have less bias because it could turn out to be a terrible suit, but it could also be a decent suit depending on when they use it. Anyway, besides that rant. It comes with two closed fists, which, you know, standard. Um, mine, I really, I got lucky. I actually got, within it, two decal sheets for some stupid reason. They just derped. But I wouldn't have needed to, because, to do my, um, advanced grade, which actually isn't up here, surprisingly. Because I didn't use either of these, because, well... I used paint. Honestly, for these, I just used red and green Sharpie because they are clear parts. Gundam marker is opaque, so that wouldn't have worked. And, yeah. But, for the transformation, um, I'll do the transformation, then I'll show off his features as a model. For the transformation, what you do is you... Um, Bring his shoulders forward as far as they go, which is not actually too far. Fold the wings out. I have a lot less trouble with these wings than I do with the Gaffran. They do split a little bit, but they don't have like seven parts that move, so they're okay. And um, Robert184 had some problems with this transformation because he was thinking beast mode when he got it. I came in knowing what the transformation looked like. And I don't think of this as a beast as much as I think of it as um, him basically turning into a flying, um, I guess, sort of like ship in a way. I came in thinking mobile armor, so um, that's why I came out a little nicer towards this thing than Robert184 did. And by the way, this guy's definitely getting displayed in robot mode on my desk. Because unlike the Gaffron, the posability really is necessary on this guy. 
because of the fact that um, he is the sort of heavy, or not the heavy, the sword variant of this guy, and I love sword variants. And sorry if my camera just froze. Uh, my computer is being derpy again. So anyway, this is pretty much his transformed form. Now I gotta say, um, if this was a beast mode, duck is the closest thing I can think of. I can also see sort of, I guess, a streamlined wolf in it, or a really unstreamlined wolf. Um, but that's just really... <coughs> Looking at the chest with the point of the nose here and in the these two giant fins that stick up. And because I like wolves. But anyway, yeah, now let's transform him back. And what you do for that, it actually seems a little easier because you just pull the legs down, pull them out. Compress the backs of the legs because there are little parts that like to pop out. Get the legs into position. Pop the feet out. Pull the arms down. Rotate them 90 degrees to make it show accurate at least. This is how he stands in the show with his arms sideways. Which is odd, I know, but I don't care. Um, fold the back down. Use the peg to hold it together. Fold the arms up. Get the skirts into position. Which I don't have... I know... Actually, I think I've said this already in this review. I gotta say it again. I like these skirts ten times better than the Gaffrons. And I think the Bok Toe will have even better skirts. We'll see on Friday, I guess, because I'm going to I'm gonna get it on Friday because I have some money. Along with the Spalo, hopefully. And maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, I can get the blue frame. The Astray blue frame. Because I know they have that, the Master Grade, at my local hobby store. And, um, if I don't get that, then I may get another real grade, or I may get some unicorn stuff. If I'm lucky. I, I don't know if I'll get the extra money by that time, but... Damned if I won't try. But, yeah, so anyway... The Zeta sword, you just basically pull it out of his back. Um, it attaches onto that little peg back there. If you look, this thing. And actually, you're not supposed to keep this in there. You're supposed to take it off. I leave it there for the simple reason that, I mean, why not? It stays there perfectly fine. Let's see if it works better or just as good the other way. It works just as good the other way, and it doesn't pull it out as easily. Um... So I recommend putting it in short end first if you want to leave it in there so it's not as obtrusive. But, yeah, as far as I, I can recommend, either leave it in there, or if you're not going to have this guy aerial. Let's see how it looks in the aerial mount. If you really want that part to be accurate, you can stick it in the aerial mount just to have it a little out of the way. I mean, from the front, you're none the wiser. From the sides... The leg kind of covers it up. The only place you can see it is in the back. And if you pose it right, the um, fins back here will cover it up. But for me, I, I just leave it where it's supposed to be in the back. Um, aerial pro poses will be a bit of an issue for this guy. Because of the design, they had to have the peg at a 90 degree angle. So the Superman style stand for the basic aerial base may work with a really nice aerial base I could have gotten my destiny in here but I didn't want to my 1 to 100th destiny I don't have a 1 to 144th good action base yet um, then you can get some pretty nice poses with that I guess but anyway yeah so what do you buy that when you buy this guy you don't buy him for the transformation because that I will admit, it doesn't look terrific. Robert184 was right. It does look like a freaking duck. Um, there are some problems with the articulation. Again, because of the front skirts, but they're not as bad because they don't move as much. They really are sort of purpose-built to go where they need to go and nowhere else. 
Um, they don't fold in the front, but that's okay because this guy, the way this guys are mounted, they don't need to move because they're not as big. Um, needless to say, I'm not getting the Gaffer and Master Grade. However, if they made a Master Grade of this guy, I would probably attempt to get it. If they make an, a Master Grade of the G-Axis, I'm getting it definitely. And if they make a Master Grade of the G-Axis, then I'll probably get this guy to display with him. Just to have a UE suit there. Now this guy also improves on the neck mount of the Gaffran. However, that's because the head doesn't have to move. He's got a standard neck mount in there. It's not mounted onto the back. And it doesn't fall out as easily. It still does fall out every now and again, but not as easily. So, anyway. Uh, the Zeta Sword is okay. You can get it down pointing, out straight pointing. And if you pull his arms forward, he gets a knife. He can have it almost anywhere you want. And it's actually a really nice weapon for being so long. Now the only thing that is sort of annoying is that the chest will get in the way sometimes. But, um, yeah. I can see you getting this guy into some pretty cool poses with that Zeta sword. And he also has, just like every other UE suit, he's got the standard UE weapon, the beam Vulcans on the hands. But with this guy, I'm not going to be using those, obviously, because I'm actually thinking that I'm going to have him sort of dual wielding the Zeta sword. Um, I gotta say, despite my hatred of Dezel, he's still a terrific enemy. I'm gonna be completely honest now. Um, I hate his tactics. I don't hate him as an enemy, though. He's still, like, the way they executed his character, the way they made him sort of, like, lovable for the first part, like, you see him, like, oh, um, I knew something was up with the kid from the second I saw him, because the second I saw him, I'm like, Ribbons Allmark, because the kid actually looks a little like a young Ribbons Allmark, so, um, so, that didn't fool me. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting used to this kid. Um, his whole thing where he was piloting the Zetas, that surprised me. I thought he was going to be a Bakto pilot. I thought that the Zetas pilot was going to be that guy with the mask who looked a little like Char. Um, sadly, it wasn't. I wanted another Char clone, but... Um, but if we had another Char clone, then we would have to have a certain reappearance. Hang on. Give me a second. Got so many books here. A certain reappearance for the simple reason of somebody needing to be put back in their place. In the manner that follows. Oh, crap. There's a picture. There we are. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let you finish, but I was the best shark clone of all time. There we go. That was a little long for that, but whatever. Um, yeah. Come right out and say it. Despite me not having any models of the Providence, um, I gotta say, um... Rao La Cruce is definitely my favorite Char clone in Gundam. Just because, I mean, he's such an awesome character. And I actually have a friend named Kira, so I can. who is into Gundam, so. I can walk up to her and go, Kira Yamato! You shouldn't have been allowed to exist, boy! On a regular basis, just to mess with her. And, uh, yeah. That was a terrible imperson impersonation, but I wasn't really going for the voice anyway. I can't do a good row voice. But, yeah. Um. <laughs> I actually feel like making a video on this channel of, like, 
some chain of happenings in which we have different Char clones telling off other Char clones with the Kanye voice, with the Kanye clip voice, probably. Uh, and then the last one is I'm gonna let, is the actual Char Asnabel. I'm gonna let you finish, but I am Char Mother Asnabel. You guys are all clones of me, and you are referred to as such. So yeah, Char. Nobody can beat him. This is the closest we've come yet in terms of I think mobile suits to that mysterious imperfect Xeon in First Gundam. Now, I gotta say, as much as I like these mobile suits, I think this looks a lot better. It's a lot slimmer. It's a lot sleeker, it seems. And I would honestly get rid of this if it didn't require me taking off a few parts. Actually, no, you know what? No, I I'm not gonna do it. I would honestly get rid of this part, too. But, whatever. Um... That actually does have some functional purpose in robot mode, though. Whereas these just kind of make it less aerodynamic. That has that has a thruster, so therefore it must do something. Again, I can almost do sort of an angel from Evangelion type thing. I I know Bandai does the um, models for Evangelion too. I wonder if the if the um, UE suits were actually inspired by the angels, because I could get angel wing looking things, like the angels from Evangelion, the wings. I could get something similar to two completely separate angels with these. This is similar to God. I'm trying to remember. I don't know which which angel this is. This looks like, but it looks like one of the angels with those wings. Oh! Oh, it looks vaguely similar to that one that was... It had... I think it had a bigger appearance somewhere, maybe in a graphic novel. I didn't... I haven't seen all of Evangelion, the, the anime. I've read most of the graphic novel interpretations, though, on, either online or I have a serialized copy of some of them. I have a I have a full serial of um, Shinji Akari Raising Project, and I have, which actually is not that focused on Ava's. It's more focused on character development and stuff, which I like. I, I like it when you have a sort of go along manga that gives you sort of the characters. But yeah, I'm trying to remember the name of the angel. Oh my god. Ah, I forget what it, which one it was, but, yeah, this looks, oh, it was the one that was that giant eyeball. So kind of put a giant eyeball in the center of this, and, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And that one was basically like a suicide bomber. So anyway, you may notice that I'm packing this guy up. This means that we've got... Finish now. One, two. I'll set them right here. See if I can get them all in camera shot. Okay. Or six, five, four. No, you're not. Next. There you go. Three, two. Pan up a little. And one. So this week, this weekend, this stack should increase to becoming about, I'd say, this tall. With the addition of the bokto and the um, spalo, and then this stack will increase to being ninety-nine point nine percent cooler. I'm gonna get these off just because. Really annoying me. 99.9% cooler with the addition of the. Oh god, what's it called? I'm I'm blanking now. Dang it. G axis. Oh yeah, and by the way, I have to read this for school. I read this last year. The Gardener by S. A. Broden. 
It's a decent book. If you like creepy, mildly creepy sci-fi things, check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, I have an anime, I have a manga, I have an anime adaptation to a manga to read. So, I'll see you guys. This has been Galactic Marine 501 slash Jackson Wolfexia. And tell me guys, do you think I should do reviews of Gundam anime series? Cause, or, ah, anime, damn it. Gundam manga and anime series, actually. Tell me. Leave a comment if you want me to do any of those, and I'll start doing those. I'm also going to work uh, this weekend on reorganizing my channel. I'm going to do playlists, put different series in different playlists, and I'm going to title all of the videos that aren't titled, which means I'm going to have to sit through all the crap that you guys have sat through if I... If you guys watch my videos on a regular basis, so yeah, I'm gonna have to sit through five minutes of rants just to figure out what I'm reviewing. But anyway, yeah. By the way, just to be clear on this, I had all five of these, and I was trying to find. I was hoping Rao was on one of the covers, but he wasn't, which kind of sucks. Okay, now here's this is kind of odd. We have Kira, Athrin, Athrin, Kigali, Kira, as who's on the sides. Yeah, showing preference there at all? No. But anyway, again, I'm just going to shut up at this point. Uh, Zetus, terrific model. Age, terrific series. Age Gundam, hi, age high grades, terrific models. Age advanced grades, actually, terrific models. Some of them lack color, like... I mean, they put a lot of work into some of them. Like, the age, the actual Gundam ages are terrific. The normal being especially good. Um, the Titus is a little lacking. I mean, it has all the colors there, because really, it doesn't have that much color in the arms and legs. But um, the Swallow is decent, too. So, yeah, check those out. The... Advanced grades, if you don't want, if you have all your Gundams on your shelves in static poses, and you're half decent at painting with a Gundam marker, go for the advanced grades, honestly, because you can do just as much with those. I still haven't gotten to that basic ashtray that I got, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. At this point, I wanted to just paint up the detail. There's so much red on that that I think it would end up all red before I got all of the detail right. So, yeah. I'll see you guys. This has been Galactic Brain 501 slash Jackson Wolf Exia.